I've been very much slacking on my prep updates, um, and I thought that I would kind of update everybody on where I'm at and what is going on. I don't even know if I've made any video logs yet this prep. I've just been recording my training, um, which has been pretty good. Um, okay, so Eric's going to kill me for not writing bullet points here because he knows that I'll ramble if I don't, but I'm going to try not to. So, um, <clears throat> first thing first, where I'm at now, um, getting very close to uh, my first show. I have four shows planned for the season going all the way um, to July. Um, and I'm really excited. Two shows here in Florida and two shows in other states. Um, so those will be fun just to uh, go to new places, travel, and also get to meet um, some of my clients that live in the other places. So I'm excited about that. Um, and as far as my prep so far, it's pretty funny because this prep has been actually the complete opposite of my first prep. Um, but I definitely think that that's for a reason. I, I feel like I actually went into this prep and I was like, okay, like this is my second one. I know what to expect. Like this is going to be a cakewalk. And, uh... It hasn't been, actually. Um, if anybody followed my first prep, I actually was a little bit better about keeping video logs and stuff. Um, but I lost weight really easily. Um, my macros actually didn't change my entire prep, uh, which I don't know of anybody that that's ever happened to before. Um, so... I was like, okay, well, you know, I do think that I put on a little bit of muscle in the last couple of years, and um, so I should be able to eat a little bit more and uh, and lose weight pretty easily again. Um, things didn't happen that way. Um, I think that a lot of it had to do with outside stressors. Um, I've had a lot of uh, emotional things happen during this prep that were unexpected and just had to deal with some stuff that, you know, as women, I think that we are so sensitive to um, life, basically, that, you know, when something gets thrown off, especially for me, I know that you know, there were, there were, you could see in my pictures that I was just like bloated or retaining so much water when I was really stressed out. Um, and obviously coupled with um, training stress, you know, more inflammation from that, all that stuff adds up. So basically, um, I started prep in November. Um, I started a little bit early, um, even though I did take Thanksgiving uh, Christmas and our family New Year's trip, I didn't track during those times, and uh, um, I wanted to start early just because I was a little heavier, um, and even though I, you know, like I said, probably put on some muscle, I didn't want to put myself in a bad position um, for this season and have to lose too much, too fast, that kind of stuff. So, basically, I started around 150 in November, um, and in the beginning, obviously, lost a little bit. I got to, like, 145 pretty quickly, I think it was, and then, like, I was staying in, like, the low 140s, and like I said, there was just a lot happening in my life, and I was uh, pretty stressed out. And my weight just wasn't moving. Um, and, of course, there were macro changes. And I didn't start doing cardio until, I want to say, March I started doing cardio. I think it's about a month, actually. I have it here. Um, yeah, the middle of March. So I wasn't doing any cardio at all until then. Um, 
But basically, I, Berto had to put me on a diet break because it was just, it was not happening. And I think that um, Alberto is going to speak further on this subject, but he kind of related it to training and the fact that we take deloads from training and he thinks it's, he thinks it's really important to um, periodize your dieting as well. And it makes a lot of sense to me. And it was funny because right after he gave me that diet break that I was a little unwilling to take because I thought it would put me behind. Um, my weight started dropping pretty much immediately after and has been pretty steady for the most part um, since then. Um, I'm at uh, about 133, 134 right now. Um, so a few pounds to go still, but um, all in all, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. I feel um, it's so cool to look back at my old prep pictures at like this weight and be like, wow, that's crazy that, you know, the scale said the same thing and my body can look so different. So I'm, I'm proud of what, uh, of what I've built, I guess you could say. And uh, it's really nice because, you know, Alberto has told me and Eric has told me, he's like, you know, you, you look like a pro. And it was like before when I won my pro card, that was why I took a two-year off-season because I was like, I cannot get on stage with those girls. That is insane to me. Um, you know, and the fact that I now have the confidence where I'm like, okay, I can do this. Like, I can get up there and I, I'll be all right. <laughs> Um, so I'm really, really excited uh, about this season, and uh, I really have just learned so much from this prep, um, you know, with my weight being like the tough part of this prep and the non-cooperative part, my training has been really, really awesome. Um, I have lost a little bit of strength. Obviously, I'm not hitting my, you know, I'm not hitting any all-time PRs or anything like that. But um, just recently, my my bench went down a little, uh, which as much weight as I've lost, it's, I'm surprised that I can still bench what I can. I deadlifted only five pounds off from my uh, my all-time best last weekend. And then I actually got my first double body weight squat uh, yesterday. So it's been, training's been really interesting. And I think that, you know, like I explained to Berto and Eric too, that I just go into my training and I'm like, okay, I don't have, all of that I expect from myself is to do the best that I can do that day. And because I actually have confidence in my lifts and because I believe that my technique on lifts has, has gotten better, I think that that uh, has helped me so much because I, I never go in and I'm like, oh, well, I'm dieting, so I'm going to feel like shit today. There's days that I go in that stuff feels like shit, but I'm like, okay, it is what it is. I do what I do for the day and that's it. And I never, I don't beat myself up over it. I don't dwell on it. I'm just like, okay, well, maybe next session will be better. And I've had some really great days, and um, and I'm. It just makes me more thankful for those days. So all in all, to kind of wrap this up, there has been, you know, definite struggles in prep, like any other prep. But uh, I feel good about where I'm at. I feel good about where I'm headed, um, and the season is starting really, really soon, and. Uh, I can't wait to uh, meet a lot of people and, you know, just get on stage again. So, um, and for anybody who follows or anybody who cares to watch this video, I appreciate it and I appreciate um, all the love that I get from people um, on a regular basis because, you know, on the days where I do struggle, it's a reminder to me of, you know, why I do this, and uh, I'm just happy to be 
where I'm at, and I'm really looking forward to the future. So thank you to everybody for watching and for caring, and uh, I'll try to be better about updating more. So thanks, guys.